you'll find the clues and directions in skill mode to be quite helpful because you have more knowledge about what you're doing. Here, they're kind of cluing us off. Hmm, what should we do first? That's a hint that it's probably not what you would think. So let's go on in. Um, we need our monkey to collect all the bananas. We know we want to use a for loop. So for B and bananas, because we're collecting all the bananas. And we know we want to turn to the banana and step the distance of the banana. Now, or turn to B and then step distance to B. If you're here watching this video, you've probably tried this and it didn't work. <laughs> and their hint, all, while many of their clues are very helpful in skill mode, this one, we are using a loop. But the problem is how we're using our loop. So we can't have the monkey go straight for the banana. We need the monkey to go to the bridge each time the monkey needs to cross. Paying attention to the how the bananas are organized and named. Like that's banana zero. That's banana two. So it, it would go zero one, which I believe is over here. So you have no control over the order in which they're collected. It's going to collect them in the order of how the objects are organized in the array. So it's going to go zero and then one. So here's how we fix that. We need the monkey before going to get a banana to always start off at the bridge. If the monkey starts on the bridge, then every time the monkey goes to get a banana, the monkey will be okay. And you should have completed an activity similar to this in the regular coding adventure challenges. So let's see, we need to, wherever the monkey is, turn to the bridge. Like in this case, the monkey could go first, but a programmer is thinking about something that will work all the time. And then step distance to the bridge. Now, the monkey should be good to go.